you ready. I'm in. Brilliant. Tell us, first of all, tell us about your new single before we go any further. Um, it's called The Boy With Air For Eyes. It's off the album, first album. Uh, totally re-recorded. Uh, I re-recorded it in New York with Arthur Baker. And it's like, it sounds pretty different than the album version as well. I mean, it's like, I, I, was, I, was, I was finding it a bit uh, bizarre when like there's too many re singles released off an album. It's a bit boring. So I totally re-recorded it and funked it up a bit. There's a jungle version by Goldie as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, he's from Wolverhampton and um, from the same place as I am. And, and, and I like some of the stuff he did, so I just sent him a single and he was really into it. So he said he'd do a mix and I got the tapes back and I thought that's fantastic. It's a really good mix. Supposed to have your hands in cement so early on? Um, I don't know. I don't know why people keep saying it. Is there like a weird sense that people think I'm going to die next year or something, or like collapse spontaneously? Yeah, you know, I suppose it's good to start early. You know, it's a good, it's a good thing to get, you know, an accolade when you, you know, starting out. I think more people should because it sort of gives you gives you more incentive to carry on doing what you're doing. Yeah. Everyone's obviously wondering if you're ever going to be able to match the incredible way you arrived on the scene. Do you worry about that at all? Oh, definitely not, because I've got a lot of great ideas in my head and, um, and there'll be a few more surprises coming out pretty soon. You thinking of new music already? Um, oh yeah, I've, I've, I've written the next album, it's all done. And um, I've actually written two albums. But one of them is going to be a dance album, which is going to be done with a few people from America, artists. And we're going to do that at the end of the year. And then next year I'm going to release my, my album. So What's your album? It? My album. Yeah. Um, again, that's a secret. You know, it's it's, it's sort of um, it's going to be based around horror. I think. You know, we're going to we're going to we're going to leave sci-fi and scare the kids. So you've done aliens, and now you're going to do creepy crawlies. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Mix the two together. It's quite interesting. Are you a great believer in X Files and aliens, or did you just like the images? I I think we're a mass alien experiment, us Earth people, and um, and I think we'll soon, you know, that will be realised in the year 2000. There's a great uh, set of people called the Raelians who believe that we are all an experiment that went wrong and they stuck mm. us on a little planet miles out. Oh, definitely, and and, and they're looking upon us and laughing now. I was, I, was, I was reading this thing the other day about um, how scientists are impregnating crabs with human embryo. Crab and boy. They, and they call me weird. Do you get the feeling that people think you're weird? Um, no, really. I think I'm pretty normal, really. It's just sort of, um, I don't know. I, I mean, I could be, you know, I don't know, a road sweeper, really. You know. Do you think pop stars should be more glamorous then? Do you think we went through too many unglamorous years of pop stars? Oh, definitely. I mean, it's, it, the, the thing is, it, you wake up in the morning, put on a nice jacket, do your makeup, do your hair, and get out, and everybody can be a pop star. Can't they? <coughs> Were you a pop star before you ever had a record then, do you reckon? I think I danced my way out the womb. Great. So, so um, when you that. Will everyone expect you to see maybe some strange images on your hands, do you think? That's uh, I think there could be sort of, um, you know, equivalent of crop circles. You know, very strange sort of like these. But um, my hands are very strange, as you can see. They're, they're sort of like bendy. And I'm double-jointed as well. So, um...